Stanford Raffles did not discover Singapore any more than Christopher Columbus discovered America. By the time Raffles arrived in 1819, Singapore already had had hundreds of years of history. In the 14th century, this area at the mouth of the Singapore River was a thriving seaport called Tamasi. Around this period, according to the Sejara Melayu, Sang Nila Utama founded a kingdom here and named it Singapura. When the Europeans came to Southeast Asia in the 16th and 17th centuries, they knew about this island, Singapore. Jacques de Coult was a Flemish gem trader who knew the region well. Around 1630, two centuries before Sir Stamford Raffles, de Coult proposed to the King of Spain to build a fortress in Singapore because of its strategic location. Had the King of Spain accepted the Coutts proposal, Singapore might have become a Spanish colony instead of a British one. But he didn't, and it took another 200 years before Raffles landed at a spot near here and persuaded the Sultan of Johor to allow the British East India Company to establish a trading post in Singapore. That was a crucial turning point in our history. It set this island on a trajectory leading to where we are today. Raffles made Singapore a free port. The new colony prospered and the population grew rapidly. Immigrants came from Southeast Asia, China, India, and beyond. Among the first were Munshi Abdullah, Tan Tok Singh, and Narayana Pillay who all came to Singapore in 1819. Our streets carry evocative names that tell of our ancestors' diverse origins. Malacca Street, Amoy Street, Kadayanala Street, Bugis Street, Busora Street, plus many others. And thus we became a multicultural and open society. Trade was our lifeblood. It linked us to the archipelago around us and to the world beyond. Rubber, tin and spices moved from Southeast Asia through our entrepot to world markets, while manufactured goods flowed in the other direction. We developed close economic and family ties with our neighbours in the region, and especially the Malay Peninsula. We identified ourselves as Southeast Asian and especially Malayan.